when I look back at my life. I can pinpoint certain events and actions that created a shift. Changing my path and the person I thought I was, always for the better. But those events were challenging all the same and rewarding without a doubt. Another chapter to the story of my life. When I signed up for the month-long yoga teacher training course, I never thought it would impact me as it did. I don't think any of us did. So here is another chapter to our story. Ashram Yoga, a little retreat center located 18 kilometers outside of Fungamata, surrounded by cow fields, forest, and just a quick one minute walk to the ocean. And these are the incredible people I had the pleasure to train with, my fellow classmates. Despite our different backgrounds, experiences and ages, the connections we made were profound. We made up the class of February 2020, or as we like to call ourselves, the Kiora Group. This is a Mari greeting which translates to have life or be healthy. Seems fitting for our little group. Our teachers and the faces of Ashram Yoga, D. And there's D, a local Canadian. And Atma. <laughs> <laughs> and other staff of the furry kind. That's right, guys. This yoga retreat comes fully equipped with animals. <laughs> so this is the ashram. And these are the goings on during level one teacher training. And good morning, everyone. It is eight o'clock, been up since 5.30, did some neti pot yoga. I'm gonna take you guys on a day in a life of a yoga teacher training course here at Ashram Yoga New Zealand. So that was attempt one. So the one day I decide to actually film a day in the life is the one day that we don't do karma yoga. And well, this was attempt two. And as you probably guessed, here's attempt three. So again, definitely not a typical day at the yoga resort. <laughs> There's Lauren. Hey. And Lauren, you want to tell the awesome folks of YouTube? And so long, girl subscribers, what we're up to today. We are about to do a heart opening sequence on the beautiful Pacific Beach of Okui Resort. Woo! Yay! Well, as you can see, this whole day in a life thing didn't exactly pan out for me. But it did lead into a different direction. Karma Yoga. The yoga of action, a practice where you do your duty without thinking about yourself. Here at the ashram, our tasks range from cleaning, gardening, even chopping wood from time to time. And my task? Another day here at uh, ashram yoga and another day filming with my crew here. How I got so lucky to be on the film crew of uh, on Karma Yoga Day and not be scrubbing or cleaning. Oh, I have to say it's in my cards apparently. Before you can get started at a production at this scale, here's a couple of things you may need. A host. I get to be the film filmer. Thank God, because someone's looking terrible. And he's interviewing. <laughs> 
Steve is interviewing. Are you saying I look terrible? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh wait, you're not in the shot either. Ah, uh, I just put my foot in my mouth. Some kind of tripod. And I think I found us the perfect tripod. Check this out. Genius. A yoga book and a step ladder. Creative locations. And victim two successfully <laughs> has uh, survived. Of course, the yeah. subjects. I'm getting right in there. Really close. See your nostrils. It's a good thing you did some um, nitty. nitty this morning. Yes. Holy crap! I didn't even interview you. Yeah, you that was. Who do you think oh that's shoot, it didn't even record. I'm just kidding, it recorded. <laughs> I Who knew not only my film skills, but my humor could come in handy. Towards the final week of our course, we had the opportunity to have our own bit of a celebration. And everyone is in their Sunday best to celebrate Shiva. Our evening was full of chanting and dancing. And as the night got later, our chanting became more intensive. And just like that, we had reached our final day. And here we are getting the final pieces together, finishing up our yoga training with a bit of a ceremony. And everyone is showing up. Here we go, guys. The last couple minutes left, and then we're certified instructors. <laughs> I know it seems strange to many that I chose to do my yoga training here in New Zealand. Bali or India seems like the more mainstream choice, but those places did not call me. This place did. And I'm glad I listened. I'm glad we all listened in our little group. Seems to me we needed to take that time not only to learn yoga, but also to learn more about ourselves. Although the course was over and I was sad to see my new friends leave, my time here at the ashram was not.